Hey, what's going on? It's Josh from the DeFi Guys, and this is going to be one of the most important videos that I create this year because it's going to be one of my biggest money makers, projected to be one of my biggest money makers this whole entire year. So if you're looking forward to the content within this video, please drop the video like, subscribe to the channel because I'm uploading videos frequently teaching you DeFi strategies and tactics on how to create passive income in the crypto space regardless of what the crypto market is doing. Look at this right now. If we refresh the page on coinmarketcap.com, you can see that the market is just getting beaten down. But check this out. If we go over to Drip right here, and I go ahead and I go to my other account, and we connect the wallet. This is just one of my passive income streams that I've got right now. And this is something that's super, super long term. We're going to wait for the data to pop up. But while it's doing that, I'm earning almost $1,500 per day, $1,406 per day with Drip. And it's because of the power of DeFi and having the right developers, having the right community. And while the market is dipping, look at the price of Drip. The price of Drip has gone up to $94 up like 13% while the rest of the market is like down between 11 and 13%. So that's Drip. I'll include a link about that uh, below about this specific project. But this video is going to be right up there with Drip. This is going to definitely be one of my top passive income projects here in 2022, if not my top project. And here's why. This is called EMP.money. This is a tomb fork. And if you don't know what tomb finance is, I'm just going to go over there right now. Tomb finance is on the Phantom Network and it's total locked value. If we go ahead and just connect my wallet here, you're going to see the total locked value of tomb is right around $700 million. Okay. This just started in its infancy roughly seven to eight months ago. And it's created so many millionaires because of the dev, because of the community, and because of how the game theory is structured within this project. So you'll see a lot of new projects that come out that mimic old successful projects, which is really, really smart. And that's exactly what EMP money has done. EMP money is pegged to Ethereum's price, but it's on the Binance smart chain, so you're not paying Ethereum gas fees on the ERC20 network. So that's what makes this really, really powerful is that it's on the Binance Smart Chain. We're using the BEP20 uh, ETH instead of the ERC20 ETH, a whole different chain. So again, as I stated, we're not paying those huge fees. And plus, the Binance Smart Chain network and the users are way larger, guys, than Tomb Finance. So the first thing that I want you to make sure that you do is that you study the docs like you're studying a test. Make sure you understand this protocol thoroughly because the success of this project is reliant upon the community. If the community doesn't understand how the game theory works, if they don't follow the directions, then these projects don't succeed. Now, the great thing about this project is we've got a team. We've got actually seven investors, large investors, that are holding this project up to keep it above what's called PEG. PEG, if you read right here, PEG is an algorithm that's a 4,000 to 1 ratio to ETH. So 40K ETH equals a $10 EMP PEG. Now what PEG basically determines is whether the project is in profit or not. If the project is not in profit and we're in debt, then the project's not making money. And so what we have to do as a community, especially in the beginning as the project is growing, is we need to make sure that we stay above PEG, that people reinvest into the protocol so that we build a strong foundation so it succeeds for the future. So here's the steps to follow to ensure that EMP is successful. The first thing that you wanna do is just go over here and select farm. Okay, then you want to make sure that you go ahead and you connect your wallet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my wallet, make sure that you're 
uh, of course, attach the Binance Smart Chain Network. And you've got these two staking farms right here. You've got an eShare BNB farm and you've got an EMP ETH farm. Make sure that you're taking notes on this, by the way. So you want 60% of your total funds here in the EMP ETH farm. And then you want roughly 40% of your funds put into the eShare BNB LP. The reason for this is to mitigate risk and there's more volatility in this pair than this EMP ETH pair right here. And the reason for that is, is impermanent loss. If you don't know what impermanent loss is, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go to YouTube and you type in what is impermanent loss so you really understand what it actually means. So I can type in what is impermanent loss, yield farming, and this will explain it in great detail. One of these videos you can check out right here, okay? Nonetheless, once you have these two farms and you're familiar with each one of them, you'll notice that each one of them produce what's called eShare, okay? When you claim eShare from each of these farms, okay, you wanna take 75% of your total earnings in eShare from each of these farms, and you wanna put them in what's called the boardroom. Now, the boardroom allows you to print EMP, which is the governance token that represents this whole project. It allows you to print that EMP and reinvest that EMP back into the protocol. You can see right now here is the price, current price of EMP. Now, the only way that we're going to make money from this boardroom, once we've taken our eShare from the farm and we've staked them in the boardroom, is if we're above PEG. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's describe exactly what PEG is. PEG represents whether or not the protocol once again is in profit. If this is below 1.01 .01 per 4,000 EMP, then we're below PEG and we will not print at the APR that will be shown right here. Now, typically these APRs are super, super high. Now, since we just switch from an old boardroom to a new boardroom, you're not seeing the APR yet, but we were seeing APRs of 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 plus. So APR is dependent upon how many e-shares are actually staked in this boardroom. The less e-shares staked, the higher the APR is going to be. But just remember that you're not going to earn EMP if we are below PEG, okay? And also, we're in the first two weeks of this protocol releasing. And so I'm going to make this stupid simple for you because these projects can become quite complicated. What you want to do, I'm going to give you a very, very simple strategy to follow. Step number one is you want to decide exactly how much you want to deposit into the protocol. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just for educational purposes only. So please make sure again, you read the docs and you understand this thoroughly before getting started. With that being said, what you want to do, as I stated, take 60% of your total investment, put it in here in EMP ETH LP, and then you're gonna take the 40% and you're going to put it in the eShare BNB LP. In just a second, I'll show you how to create LP tokens. But in the meantime, what we wanna do is when we do stake our EMP ETH, we're going to produce eShares, okay? Also, when we stake our eShare BNB, we're also going to earn eShares. What we want to do, and I would recommend doing this every few hours, is go ahead and claim both of your eShares. So you'll click here and you'll claim, okay? And when I click on claim, you're gonna see this window pop up and I just click on confirm. And then I'm gonna jump over to the other farm and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna click on claim, okay? And then what you wanna do with 75% of your eShares is you're going to go ahead and you're gonna go over here to the boardroom and you're going to go ahead and you're gonna stake them here, okay? So I'm gonna take whatever 75% is of these e-shares available and I'm going to go ahead and put them in the boardroom. 
The rest of the eShares, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create an eShare BNB LP token, okay? So let's take a quick step back and let me show you exactly how to get into the protocol so you can stake your EMP ETH and stake your eShare BNB, okay? So all you need to do is you're gonna click on, once you go to emp.money, click on the farm, click on view under EMP ETH, and then you're gonna click on provide liquidity for EMP ETH pair now on PancakeSwap. So you're gonna go ahead and click that. It's gonna open up a brand new window that looks something like this. Okay, let that window be, and let's go back to emp.money, and let's go home. So what we're gonna do is we need to go ahead and we need to buy EMP, and we need to buy ETH, okay? So the way that we're going to do that is we are going to go over back to home, we're gonna click on buy EMP. So click on buy EMP. And then you wanna make sure that you have, it doesn't matter, you can have BNB in your wallet, you can have USDT, you can have any coin whatsoever. So let's just pretend that we've got some USDT in our wallet. Let's pretend that we have, you know, 2000 USDT. What we wanna do is wanna split that in half. So a thousand of it, we're gonna convert over to EMP. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and approve the transaction and we're gonna click on supply. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get EMP, okay? So there's gonna be a button that pops up right here to allow you to do that. Of course, I don't have USDT in my wallet. This is just for an example, okay, but you will. Or whatever coin that you have. And then you're gonna split the other half of that coin into Ethereum, okay? So a thousand, for example here, ETH is gonna pop up and then we're just gonna click on of course, approve once again, submit, whatever the button says, and we're gonna complete the on-screen instructions, and then we're gonna be good to go. After that, we're gonna jump over back to our previous window that we created within the farm. Remember how we went to the farm, we went to EMP ETH, and we clicked on provide liquidity. Now that we have both of these tokens, half and half, 50-50, then what we can do is we can provide liquidity. So you're gonna go over here to EMP, and you're gonna click on max, okay? And then you're gonna click on supply. You're gonna be able to create your LP token. Now it might say insufficient balance when you click on max under EMP. If that happens, just click on max on ETH, okay? And it should pop up showing that you're able to supply. Follow the on-screen instructions, supply the token, and then after you've supplied the token, then you can go over here and you can go ahead and you can click this plus button and you can stake your EMP ETH LP. Again, give it a, a couple seconds, maybe one minute for PancakeSwap to create your LP token. If the transaction fails, just go ahead and try again, okay? Then what you're gonna do, like I said, come over here, click on max, click on confirm, and then go ahead and stake your LP. Again, you wanna make sure you have BNB in your wallet for gas. If this transaction fails, okay, which can happen, then go ahead and, and just refresh and then go ahead and try again, okay? Sometimes you don't even need to refresh. You just go ahead and try again. And then you'll see a green check mark above right here showing that it's been approved and it's been staked. Now, sometimes even though it's been staked, DApps won't always show your funds right here. So you might be sitting there for two minutes, your funds don't show up, they're there, trust me. All you gotta do is click on the refresh button, maybe a couple times, and you'll see your funds show up, okay? Then what you'll start doing is you'll start printing um, your B shares at this daily APR here. And then you could just claim your E shares, as I stated every so often, and then split them between the boardroom, 75% of the boardroom, and then 25% in this farm right here, okay? Which is the eShare BNB LP. Remember how I mentioned towards the beginning of this uh, video that you wanna put 40% of your total investment in, of, of EMP of this project into eShare BNB LP. So you're just gonna follow the same process. You're gonna go over to PancakeSwap, okay? and you're going to make sure that you're on the trade feature, click on exchange, 
And then what we want to do is we want to make sure that we purchase eShare 50% and BNB 50%. Again, we can go back home here. We can even click on buy eShare right here. And whatever we've got, again, I like to just relate this to USDT because it's pegged to the to the dollar. You know, if we got two thousand, you know, two thousand dollars worth. We're going to take a thousand dollars, convert that to eShare, and then we're going to take another thousand dollars and convert that to BNB. And then all we need to do at this point is go back to the farm, click on View right here, and then provide liquidity for eShare BNB and then follow the same directions as we did for EMP, uh, ETH LP token, okay? And we just simply supply. After we do that, we can go ahead and we can click the plus button, click on max, confirm, and we can go ahead and we can stake our eShares, guys, or eShare BNB LPs, that is, you guys. So then after that happens, as I stated, coming full circle, I know I'm kind of repeating myself because this can be somewhat complicated uh, for, for some people, especially if you're newer. Then all you need to do now at this point, once you are finished, go ahead and just claim your e-shares from each of the farms and then go to the boardroom and take 75% of what you've got in e-shares and stake them right here. And then the other 25%, all you need to do is go back to PancakeSwap, okay? Go to the exchange, and then what we're going to do is take half of the eShares that we have left over, and we're gonna convert those over to BNB, okay? Remember, it would be half of whatever this number is right here. And then we follow the same process, where we simply, of course, go over here, we click on provide liquidity for eShare BNB, and we're doing now what's called compounding. We're creating another LP token from what we, of course, earned from just originally staking in EMP ETH and BNB um, EMP and BNB eShare. And we're going ahead and we're adding more to this pool right here, this farm right here, okay? This is super powerful. You need to understand the power of compounding. You do not wanna take any profits whatsoever for the first two weeks of this because even if the price drops of EMP or the price drops of eShare, that does not matter because the emissions, the daily APR will make up for it from just simply dollar cost averaging. So that's all I'm going to do for the first two weeks. Now, the last question is, is, okay, Josh, I understand that I take, if I got 100% of an investment, let's say I got you know $10,000, I'm going to take 60%, put them in here, 40%, put them in here. What e-shares I earn from each of the farms, I'm going to take 75% of my e-shares, put them in the boardroom right here, and then 25%, I'm gonna go ahead and create an LP token of eShare BNB and put that in here and then just simply repeat that process over and over again. So Josh, last question, what do I do with the EMP that I earn from this boardroom right here? Now the boardroom has approximately four epochs a day every six hours. And as long as we're above peg, we're going to go ahead and print. Now, if you interact with the boardroom any way, shape, or form, let's say six hours passed, you have an epoch, you click on claim, you're going to go ahead and after you claim, you're not gonna be able to claim for another, I believe it's 15 to 20 hours here, and also withdraw for another about 35 hours, 36 hours. So these clocks reset, so people can't just pull funds and then crash the price. So there's a method to this. So what I like to do is, as long as we're way above peg, I won't claim my rewards instantly, okay? I'll wait maybe a full 12 to 24 hours, depending on whether I believe we're gonna go below peg or not, but just a 24 hour period before I claim all of my rewards, even though I might have earned rewards that first six hours. So now what you can do after you claim your rewards right here, let's say we've got $8,000 in rewards. 
there's a few things that you can do. You can take your rewards and recreate LPs. So taking at least like 70% and creating an EMP ETH LP. So Josh, why do we wanna do this instead of take profit? Well, this price is gonna go down. We've got these high APRs. And if you take profit, guess what will happen? The value of your LP will go down. So you're actually losing money here, even though you just took profit. So it makes no sense to take profit, especially in the first two weeks of this launch. You need to recontribute to the project to keep your LP sustained. Dollar cost average into your LPs because over the course of the long term, you want to create as big of an LP pool in the farms as you can because guess what? We know that these daily APRs aren't going to last forever. This is just, this is occurring because this is the beginning of the project and it's an incentive to get in right now, right? But over time, you're going to see an average of a daily APR between 1% and 3%. And by that time, you want a huge LP percentage in each of the farms. So as I continue to compound into this farm from the boardroom, as I continue to compound into this farm from the boardroom and from each of the farms, this LP value is going to raise. I'm going to minimize my risk if there are little crashes that might happen, that will happen, that are inevitable in crypto. But still, this is a DeFi project and the community can drive the price where it is that we want it to go. And that's the beauty of DeFi and that's how Drip was so successful. So again, let me explain this one more time. I would recommend taking, okay, it depends on where PEG is, okay, and I would recommend you checking out the Telegram group, the EMP Telegram group, because the strategy of claiming rewards will be different depending on where PEG is at, all right? But typically, what I'll do is I'll take about 70%, okay, and I will, 60 to 70%, and I will create an EMP ETH LP token, or as many as I can, and I'll go ahead and stake them, dollar cost average into this. And then the rest I can put into this farm, right? I could, for example, let's take uh, 20%. We could put it into this farm. And then the remaining 10%, we can recontribute in e-shares, convert, of course, your EMP into e-shares, and then put them back in the boardroom right here, okay? and you can repeat that process. Now, again, the process that I gave you, taking 70%, putting them in, you know, converting that uh, EMP to EMP ETH, and then 20% converting that into eShare BNB, and then 10% converting to eShares and putting back in the boardroom. That is the strategy, but again, that's a great strategy for now. But make sure, I'm going to put that in the description, the strategy based off of where we are at relative to PEG. The goal with this is for me to create at least five to $10,000 per day in ongoing income. And those that have diamond hands, those that stick to projects are those that win. If you look at my other videos in this channel, the reason why I succeed is because I stick with projects long term. I have diamond hands. I have a strong belief in the community, the developers, the projects that I get involved with, and you should too, if you also want to be successful. Now, I explain this in as much detail as I can. Just one more thing I wanna cover. Let's say you earn EMP and you wanna convert that over to something else. You wanna create an LP. All you gotta do is just go over to PancakeSwap, right? You can even click on buy EMP depending on whether you're converting your EMP or your eShare. You just go over here and go to the exchange, right? And select it from the drop down, and then just simply convert it over to whatever you want to convert it to, right? So if I want to convert some of my EMP to ETH to create another LP token and continue to compound a dollar cost average manually, I can go ahead and do that here, okay? So I'm really excited for EMP. The goal is here right now is we wanna keep this number as high as we can. We wanna keep the price of EMP as high as we can. To do that, we do not take any profits right now. If you take profits right now, you're screwing yourself, you're screwing the protocol, and you're actually not even making money because 
your LP token is going to go down in value. And if you're trying to take profit from the boardroom here, you're pretty much breaking even or you're losing money. So that's why we want a dollar cost average right now for those that really want to create $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 per day income. This is what you need to do. Everything that I outlined in this video, I know it was kind of long. I know I was very thorough. I repeated myself, but you need to understand how these algos work. And this is one that I'm super, super excited for. If you got value from this video, like this video. All the information about emp.money is going to be below in the description. Okay, let's create a strong base, strong foundation. Let's reinvest. Let's get into the protocol. Let's build our LPs up. Let's win together, you guys. The reason why Tomb was so successful is because of the community. Everybody was on the same page and followed exactly what I'm explaining in this video. Okay, again, hope you got value from this. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm giving away 100 bucks in crypto randomly to somebody in the comments that lets me know exactly what is your daily income goal with EMP that you'd like to make. Let me know in the comments. Also, you may, gotta make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, tick the bell icon. And if you do all those things, along with commenting, as I stated, then you're gonna be entered to win that $100. I'll select a winner in the next 48 hours in the comments. Okay, thank you so much for watching this and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.